Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with a hair update. Tomorrow is officially my four years and ten month block anniversary. Yeah. So in two months I'll be five years locked. Two more months and I'm pretty excited about that. Five years is like a, you know, a big deal. So when I hit five years in two months I'll have a, a more in-depth hair update I dyed it yesterday I dyed it blonde yesterday as I mentioned in my previous video I used Clairol textures and tones 7G lightest blonde and my hair was pretty dark before it was pretty dark pretty much my red was so faded and it was it looked pretty dark brown like some people ask me oh was that brown or is it red like it was that dark I'm about to do for a change so I lightened it with about three boxes. You know my hair is pretty thick and long. So I needed three boxes of the dye to cover up all of it. Even though I could have used four. I could have used four boxes really. As you know I don't bleach my hair. So this is the color that it came out with one application of three boxes. Um, if I were to want a blonder color I would have... I would need to dye it blonde a few times to keep lifting the color and lifting it and lifting it. I mentioned all this in my previous video, so so I'll move forward, really. Pretty soon, I guess by the time I make the five-year update, I'll already have my new color. But this color is going to be very temporary for me. I just wanted to lighten it so I have a, a lighter canvas for my next color. What's going on? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't really retwisted my hair in a while. In a while. I mean, I guess the last time I retwisted it was when my last curl set, like with my my tight lock curl video this one I think I retwisted my locks for that one I'll double check I'm not really into retwisting my locks anymore for a while I've been telling myself you know what once I get comfortable with a certain length I'm gonna really stop retwisting like that because I like the Ross look like I do like that but I just felt like I wouldn't have been comfortable with that look on short locks so now that my hair is at a certain length that I'm comfortable with I think that I'm gonna stop retwisting it um that may change who knows but that I, that's how I feel right now um but I'll still be pulling them apart because I still want you know I still want this many locks I guess I mean I do want to combine a few more in the back and like around my ears I still want to combine some more along my edges I guess but at the same time I don't want them to like start to clump up I don't want that um, but I do want them to thicken up at the roots. My hair crush is TK Wonder. I just love her hair. She always wears it like this. I mean, she, it's, she doesn't have locks, but they look like locks. She, she's, I believe she keeps them in like braid outs or twist outs. And she always wears them like this. I'll put a picture right here. <laughs> and um, yeah, she's my hair crush. And I feel like, I don't know how... how Thick my hair can potentially get but if I can get my hair like thick like that that would be popping like I would love that because you know retwisting thins your hair so I think that maybe if I let them lock without twisting kind of like how Lauren Hill did for instance I think I would really like the results yeah hopefully I'll still be able to do certain styles with it like um curls Cause, you know curls is my favorite thing in the world but if not whatever I can still curl this part at least the part that's already that's you know thinned okay that's pretty much it with the lock talk let me get to measuring oh by the way love light locks that's store envy.com that's my hair accessory store if you didn't know that you can get pieces like this as well as my homemade pieces my handmade pieces every piece is pretty exclusive I make them all by hand except for these okay let's get to measuring I guess first I'll show you how it how long it's looking mind you I know my hair is a bit patchy the color is pretty patchy like I said I could have used four boxes um, but I only use three So I'm on my way to waist length. Here's a side view. And the front of my hair is shorter than the back. 
So this is how it looks in the front. Alright. Oh, I'm a little obsessed with length a little bit. My concern is with when I stop retwisting it, I feel like I'm not gonna get like the length that I would get if I were to retwist it. When you don't retwist your hair, it's like you get an afro at your root, so it kind of lifts your hair up, it kind of takes away your length. That's my only concern about um, not retwisting. I remember this used to be my favorite lock when I was starting. I guess because like it was like right in front of my face, I used to always see it. Uh, now I don't have favorites. I love all my locks the same, but this one is at 16 and a half. Let um, me measure a combined one. 16 and a half, oh, more like 16 and three quarters. Oh, this is combined as well. This is my left corner lock, nape corner, whatever. This is 17, so this is a long one. Oh, this one goes pretty long. This is my longest lock, I wonder. Ooh, this is like almost, my waist is right here. This is like almost at my waist. What does that say? Sixteen and a quarter. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is pretty much in the sixteen family. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my hair update. Stay tuned for more videos. Love, light, and locks. <laughs>